morning YouTube the Sun is so intense right now it is nine almost nine in the morning I am on my way to Target and to get a coffee which I will take you guys along with me I just wanted to pop on here this morning and let you know that I am vlogging today because it is day one of my graduate program orientation as I mentioned in my intro video I will be doing um, an online program so my orientation is also online and it's over the span of two nights so tonight is two Tuesday or today is Tuesday and I have orientation tonight at 7 p.m. and then again Thursday at 7 p.m. so I figured that I would kind of show you guys what it's like to do an online SLP orientation and then I also later today I'm planning on showing you guys how I think I'm gonna set up all of my supplies for my classes um, but anyways I just wanted to pop on here and say good morning and let you guys know what to expect for today's video Really quick, I just wanted to show you guys my shirt that I'm wearing today. It's hard with the sun, I know. It says Caffeinate and Conquer. I actually made this shirt myself. And exciting news, I just got a heat press so that I can make all the graphic tees. If I had to pick something to wear every single day, I would wear a graphic tee every day if I had enough. That's why I wouldn't be doing laundry every other day. So you guys saw this morning that I went and grabbed a coffee and I went to Target and I really want to show you guys what I got from Target but I'm holding off because next week's video is going to be, I want to show you guys, it's more than a Target haul because I've been slowly collecting little things here and there like books and games and therapy materials and all that kind of good stuff because my strategy is to start collecting little bits here and there now so that when I graduate in three years I'll have a hefty little haul of stuff to use for my therapy. So next week I'm going to show you guys kind of like the start of my SLP toolkit. I have a little cart with everything on it. It's so cute and I'm so excited to show you guys. But that being said, I'm not showing you what I picked up from Target. That's why I kind of like cut that clip short because I was like, hmm, I should save this and do it all in one video. But I digress. Today's video, I have, I mentioned this morning, I have orientation for my graduate program today. It is five o'clock and orientation starts at seven. It's from seven to nine tonight. And then, sorry if you can hear the thunder, Florida summers, what can you do? Um, and then I also have orientation Thursday night from seven to nine as well. So I wanted to, before orientation, show you guys how I'm planning on setting up my course materials, I guess, for the grad program. This really, really worked for me for undergrad. So I'm gonna carry it over and use it for grad school. And then if I need to adapt, then I'll just adapt and I'll show you guys what I change it to if I change it. But this system really worked for me in undergrad. So I figured that I would show you guys. It is taking all of my willpower right now not to lift up the bag because I did buy my new school bag from Target today. But I'm going to be strong and I'm going to wait and show you because I'm filming a what's in my bag video. So moving forward. So I'm the type of person, I like to keep everything together as one unit. I don't like having separate folders for each class because if I go up to a coffee shop or wherever to study, I like to have everything with me just in case I need to reference something from one class or another or whatever. I just like everything to be all together. So I picked up this binder from Target a couple weeks ago and because I am such a nerd, I already have my first semester's classes in here labeled, which works out because it makes the video more interesting. Um, so this is just a small, I think it's a one inch binder and it's actually like a really pretty linen material. I absolutely love it and I'm really hoping that it lasts and does not get dirty or torn or destroyed, but we'll see. Um, and then the inside is my favorite color, this little turquoise color right here. So in the front of my binders, I always keep, oh my gosh, guys, this is my happy place. I love organization. Anyway, in the front of all my binders, I always keep blank paper. 
And then for each class, I keep a divider. So the, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you guys the classes that I'm taking my first semester. Um, I'm taking articulation and phonology disorders. I'm taking speech and swallowing disorders and then professional tools one. Um, in my program, everyone is required to do research within the program. So I'm pretty sure it's like this for the on-campus program as well. Um, I'm doing the online program, just if you haven't watched my first video, now you know. Um, so they kind of worked it into our program. So we're, we have professional tools one and professional tools two um, for our first two semesters. And that is kind of our research that we're required to do built into our coursework. So I'm really anxious to see what that is gonna be like. Um, and then I also have a tab that is uh, miscellaneous or other. So I'm taking three classes because I am doing a part-time program. And then I like for my dividers to have pockets so that if something is handed out to us that doesn't have holes punched in it, we, I can just slip it right in the pocket and then when I get home, punch holes in it and put it in the binder. But I don't think I'm really gonna have to worry about that since my program is distance and it's online. I'll be printing out all my own stuff so I can just hole punch it right away. But if I do get in a hurry and I just print something and forget to put holes in it or whatever, I can just slip it right in the pocket with the class that it correlates to. That way it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. And then in the miscellaneous or other tab, um, I have my distance learning curriculum graduate tracking sheet. Sorry if you guys can hear my dogs and my husband. I am not home alone right now. Um, but this is just all of the classes that I have to take in order to graduate. So they gave us this in an email a couple weeks ago and I printed it out and I know that I'm going to want to keep that handy. So it's right there in the front. And then I also have, I'm not going to show you guys just because it has some personal information on it. Um, but this is my undergraduate observation log, all the hours. We had to get 25 observation hours in order to graduate um, where I went for undergraduate. So I have that, they told us to save it for ASHA purposes, so I just put it in a pocket protector thing and I'm saving it. And then I also have important dates for the fall semester printed out. This is the course sequence for distance learning cohort. So this is all the classes that we're taking throughout the duration of the program and what semester we're taking them in. I actually don't start clinicals until next summer, so a year, basically. Um, the first two semesters, since I am doing um, a distance part-time program, those are the professional tools one and two. Those will be taken during my first two semesters instead of doing clinical. And then come next summer, I'll be done with the research portion and I'll move on to doing clinical hours. I also have tuition costs because even though that's depressing it is information that is important <laughs> and then the textbooks that i need for my first semester which i actually already have some um, an slp who lives near me actually reached out to me on facebook and she had a ton of old books from her program and she offered to give them to me for free which God bless her because textbooks can get really expensive and I usually rent them from Amazon because it's cheaper. These are ones that I'll be able to keep since she bought and paid for them and then gave them to me. So I am really, really grateful for that. And then there's just other stuff in here like how to register for classes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but this is where I keep everything. And the way that I do it is typically I will keep all of my lecture notes in here. Like I print out the PowerPoints and then I also take notes on the PowerPoints. I keep all that in here. And then after each exam, I move on to, this thing is heavy, hold on. This sucker, which is also from Target. I think I already said that the binder's from Target too. Um, but once I finish, um, an exam in a class, it gets its own little section, and then I save. I don't save everything. Um, typically, whenever I'm going through classes, like as things like strike me as like, oh, this seems really important, or like a handout that I should hang on to, I put like a little star or a tick or a check mark or something up in the corner, just so that when I'm cleaning out my papers, I know like, hey, this is something that I want to hang on to. Um, so all the stuff that I that I deemed important, um, that I wanted to hang on to, to, I wanted to keep all this stuff to help me 
in the future, obviously when I started grad school, which is uh, now, and when I have to take the praxis in a few years, I wanted everything to be organized rather than just saving all of my notebooks in like a big box or something and then me frantically digging around for stuff. So all of these, I have all my undergrad classes, so phonetics, hearing science, developmental disorders, um, oral rehabilitation, neuroanatomy, Intro to CSD, professional issues, speech science, hearing disorders, adult communication disorders, speech disorders, language science, and that is it. So once I finish these courses, um, like I said, after I have my first exam, um, then they will each get their own file folder and everything that's important will go in here. And that way it's all neat and tidy. And if I need to get another one of these, if I run out of space, then I'll just get another one. But I like that it's small and compact and everything has a home. And then for tracking my assignments, I use an actual planner. I've tried using Google Calendar, which that works for like my personal life, like my appointments and meetings and stuff like that. But for some reason with my assignments, like I just get really stressed out if I can't see all of them written down on paper. I like to be able to flip through and kind of see what's coming. I don't know. It's, I'm weird. Um, but let me cover this. Hold on a second. It has the school name that I'm going to be working at in August and I don't really think I want to share that on YouTube, so I'm going to cover that up. Um, but the way that I organize my assignments is each class gets a color, so you can see all the three classes that I mentioned. I hope this is focusing for you guys. Um, they all get a color sticky note, and then obviously I haven't got my syllabi yet, so I don't have anything in here. But what I do is I write all of the big important dates on this calendar. So this includes my personal life as well, um, just so I can see when assignments are due and what like personal events I have coming up. So you can see my little period stickers. That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh well. Um, so I have orientation these two days and then I start classes on August 28th. But the way that it works is it, whenever I have an assignment due, I like to write them rather than writing them in the little planner box itself. I like to write it down on one of these little colored sticky notes here so that if a professor changes a due date, instead of like whiting out, I hate scratching out and whiting out, um, especially my planner. It like breaks my heart when I have to do that. <laughs> um, I can just pick up the sticky note and then move it to the new date or whatever. Plus, it makes your planner nice and organized and colorful and pretty, and I just really like doing it that way. Yes, it's an extra step. You have to like get out your sticky notes right on there and then put it on here, but it works for me, and I like it. Um, so that is how I keep track of all of my upcoming assignments and exams and all that good stuff. And then the last part of the equation is my computer, which my case is from Amazon, and I think it was like $12, if you're wondering. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how I organize all my school stuff on my computer. I'm hoping to someday move to where I don't have like a binder and a planner and I can just do everything online, but I don't know guys, I just like holding my books, my planners, my papers. Like I've tried doing e-textbooks and all that, but it just doesn't work for me. I'm old school, I guess. But I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you the computer situation. So, hopefully you can see. I know there's kind of a glare. So, I just learned how to change these icons to make them super cute rather than just those plain ugly blue folders and I'm so excited. I'm telling you guys, it's the little things in life. Um, this right here is my school folder. This is our school like mascot, Florida State Seminoles. So, just click that. And then you can see I have, I will have a folder for every semester, but since this is my first semester, I only have one folder. When you click that folder, each class has its own folder. Now I haven't started yet, so there's nothing in the folders, but when I get my syllabi, those will be the first things that go in the folders, and then any assignments that I do or any handouts that are emailed to us or whatever will be put in the corresponding folder. And then that's really it as far as the computer organization for my classes goes.
Sorry if the lighting is a little bit different. The sun is finally coming back out. It rains pretty much every afternoon in Florida during the summer. I know a lot of people that don't live here or are not from here, they're like, wait, what? I thought it was the sunshine state. Yes, it is, but it rains every single day during the summer. Um, but anyways, that is how I organize all of my stuff for my classes. I am very passionate about planning and organization, which it sounds weird to say, but it is what it is. I just love color coding and organizing and all that kind of stuff. I like everything to have its own little home. I like to have a plan going into the semester so that I'm not like three weeks in trying to scramble around figuring out how to keep things organized and how to keep my mind wrapped around everything. Um, so this really works for me. If you have any tips that work for you, I would love for you to share them in the comments below. The next video that I think I'm gonna do is like an orientation reflection. I'm gonna try to film a little bit of my orientation if I can. I, like I said, I'm not sure how it's gonna go. It might be kind of a boring thing to film, but if anyone's interested, I'm just gonna film a few clips just to kind of give you a little glimpse into it. So that'll be the next video and then I'm going to talk about like what I learned about my distance program and all that kind of stuff. And then the next video after that is going to be the super fun SLP beginner toolkit haul. So all the fun stuff that I've gotten over the last couple days from Target, Michaels, all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, make sure that you like it give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos. And if you have any video suggestions that you wanna see, feel free to leave a comment below and I will add it to my list. I have in my school bag a little journal where I keep a list on lists on lists. Um, but anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.